Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of CCL Season 42. We've got Dual Yearn with his Bretonians versus Kfog with his Amazons. Um, let's change the settings so that there are cutscenes on. And uh, yeah, so this is this is interesting-ish. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know who Dual Yearn is, but he's got a, he's got a stadium improvement that does nothing. And he's got Bretonians. And he's got a loads and loads of TV on his peasants. And he's only got two blitzers. So, if I was a betting man, and I could bet everything I own on, on KFOG winning this, I would. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he might not win. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Julian might be good. He, he could be an alt of somebody good, but um, I just it doesn't strike me as a good coach just from the fact that he's he's got so many skills on peasants, and he's only got two blitzers, and he's got a, a, an improvement that does nothing. So, and obviously, look, my mum could beat me could beat Kfog at Blood Bowl, right? You know, it, anyone can get lucky and win. Um, but Kfog is pretty much the best, you know, not that, not that I think anyone really is the best, but not many people would argue saying that PTK is the best or, well, you know, like he's, he's in that level where, you know, who's better than him? Nobody. Not that he's clearly the best or anything, but, uh. He's pretty damn good. Yeah, the jugs first. Yeah, jugs instead of mighty blow. Oh god. It's terrible, isn't it? But it did good for him there. Yeah, I mean, you know, space can go six two one against me, and uh, with well, you know, with all due respect to to Space Cadet, I don't think he's that much better than me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's lots of dice, isn't there? Like, obviously on play, and the teams aren't like the Zons aren't even that bad, right? There's a lot of wasted TV. The fact that he's got these block tackle linemen, that's actually pretty decent. But there's 60 TV wasted on the bench straight away. Even if you count the 120 as well. Right, even if you don't count the 120. There's just useless TV all over the shop. Like you, the last thing you want is skills on peasants, isn't it? Oh, Fend. Fend, Fending the Frenzy. Oh, didn't. <laughs> well, these tacklers making all these dodges impossible. He's not even trying as he PTK. We'll just leave them down. Maybe actually doing him a favour there. If they didn't have tackle, maybe he'd try and one in nine dodge. But now, he can't even try. <laughs> You're more than welcome to join Dimmy if you want to, by the way. If you want to come on comms. We could do with the insight of Dimmy G, the champ. Yeah, it's true, Dicky, like, it's true. Like Zons are very weak, aren't they? And the skills and the peasants isn't that bad. It's still, it's still pretty bad. And like we don't know how good Julian is, right? He could be, he could be really good. I mean, well, I don't know how good he is. Some somebody might know how good he is, but I don't know. <laughs> really, Timmy. Oh dear. 
I don't know if that's a piss take or not, but <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like the lamest excuse for like. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to, but uh, I got a power cut. <laughs> But if it's genuine, then uh, good luck getting it sorted. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe he's a genius, you know, you don't know. You don't know, but he's not. Don't even know he's a he, I just say he by default. Because, uh, yeah, but 20, 23 percent battery though, J5. It uses a lot of battery, doesn't it, Twitch? I'd advise you just turning off the stream to me. Just do exclamation point, exclamation point shit and then turn it off, probably. Probably your best bet. <laughs> Discord. <laughs> oh, there you go. Enzo Francescoli with a big brain. The big brain players. I'll just narrate what's happening to you, Dimmy. <laughs> and you can... <laughs> you can try there. Oh, we should have done that, Jim. <laughs> Random points. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's right or wrong? Interesting, this this blitz on the edge. That's 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 a move that uh, that Elliot made that I didn't I didn't like in one game, and now K Frog's doing it. It's funny that, isn't it? It is good watching good players because they do things that you don't think, and then like rather than thinking this guy's a fucking idiot, what a complete fucking moron. It's better to think. Why did they do that? Because I didn't think that was a it's not what I would do. <laughs> Good evening, Jim. How you Yay! doing? Hey! Hello, Calcium. Glorious to hear you. <laughs> I, I, you're you're all, all by yourself, so I thought I'd come and say hello and uh, watch this foregone conclusion of a game. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not looking great for... Uh, for Jude, um, whatever his name is, is it? It's not looking great for him. No, it really isn't. But you know, he's got the he's got the advantage now. He's just removed a guard stand firmer, and he's got his juggernaut blitz. He's got juggernaut tackle to punish the Amazons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> having as much effect as Mighty Blow would have. But in fact, better than Mighty Blow so far. Is all he's done is run, roll pushes up both downs. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Who's the Burt player? Yeah, nobody nobody knows who the Burt player is. But he, he could be good, right? Just because we haven't heard of him doesn't mean he's not good. But he, he did take a beer stand. That could just be a super big brain player to make people think that he doesn't know that stadiums don't have an effect. <laughs> yeah, Absolute it could be some game. next level. Could be some next level stuff that we're just not aware of yet. Yeah, it could be like three D chess, as Flicky said the other day. <laughs> I think it was Flicky. No, I was it calcium. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said. <laughs> Somebody said, "Is is he playing 3D chess?" <laughs> it's like someone in my chat's like, "It was flick." Yeah, someone's like, "Isn't that just chess?" <laughs> 3D chess is just chess, flicky. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, on about PC, yeah, yeah, pretty good. No offense, flicky. Yeah, you know, it's just funny. <laughs> 3D chess is just chess, but yeah, it could be a 4D chess move, couldn't it? Oh dear. Yeah. Well, he takes his time, doesn't he? Whew. 
trying to beat a... That's what you want when you're watching a CCL three minute per turn game. Someone <laughs> that takes their time. Yeah, like he, he bezzes through the, the the first moves like a reasonable pace, and then like he's just like, right, I'm going to sit for a minute now and think about what I've done. <laughs> Evidence in the Discord. You didn't. You didn't need to prove it to me. <laughs> you just had to say it was. It was not a joke. I didn't know if it was just a joke, and you were just doing it ripping the piss. You know. So standard stuff from KFOG, just your usual delay and bollocks from really good players. That's my biggest problem with really good players, is that they're really good and they bore me because they're so good. Yeah. They bore me with their constant victories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just do the safe moves and the sensible moves and yeah. So he finally did dodge those away from the tackle. Interesting. Super interesting. This game needs shitheads, doesn't it? It <laughs> needs shitters. You know, Artemis single-handedly driving away 80% of all the shitters in Blood Bowl was not a good thing back in the day. <laughs> what an absolute shitter. <laughs> Whoop, there's a card. Well, there you go. I mean, I'm not... I'll tell you what, foregone conclusion is becoming... Well... Yeah, yeah this is... Wow. Oh, it's the Pied Piper of Shitters. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, dear. I haven't checked this season's CCL to see if Artemis has played anymore. Or if he just played a couple of games and thought, nah. Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Let's, um... I think you can. I think it's working again now. Yeah. Oh no, it's just two games with dwarves. Dwarf there dwarf. we are. He probably. Yeah, he probably won one, then lost one, and thought, nah. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Why, Jim? I love calcium. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you Finally, made me put something in here. I was watching the game as well, so I figured. Uh, let's you guys. Some class in the chat. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound great. That sounds awful. Sorry, Jim. Didn't mean it like that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> hello, chat. Hello, Ducky. How are you doing? It's not working. All right. Well, sorry. Sorry, Dimmy. So, so Kevo versus Johnny Learn. Uh, Johnny Learn. Like, I've never heard about that guy. No, but did you know how to pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah. Is Me and Jim a, didn't have a clue how to pronounce it, it. Is this a Dutch name? No, 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 no. It's probably something like uh, like Danish or Swedish or something like that. Like, I, I have no idea. But it's, it's it's looking like he's doing well, isn't he? Yeah, like, he's, uh, got, he's got a KO on a cast. He's he's got the ball secure. He's uh, moving down the field against PTK. Doing quite well with two blitzers and loads of skills on linemen. <laughs> yeah. It's Welsh for shitters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, this is alt account. There's not enough vowels strung together for it to be Welsh. <laughs> That's taken a while, and he, he's, he's a slow player. I mean, oh, look, we can see Ellen and see, see, uh, see if we can. 
Well, like like versus people like Kefu, you you gotta need all the you need you gotta need to take all the time you can get, right? Like yeah. um, if 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 you make one mistake positionally versus versus a coach like Kefu, he's gonna punish you so heavily that you're gonna be dizzy after it, you know? Like that's that's the thing. Oh, he's apparently a rebel player. <laughs> so yeah, I guess new to Blood Bowl, only 100 games, but um, done very well, hasn't he, for 100 games? So maybe it's an alt, or yeah, maybe he played somewhere before he played Blood Bowl 2. Like yeah, Bowl and, uh, that's, that's incredible this, actually for 100 games, isn't it? This is not even a bad matchup for it for him, is it? Like it's it's quite decent to play Birds versus Amazons. Like you have yeah. a solid shot. Yeah, he'd have more of a shot if he had four blitzers, like. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, yeah. Where are all the blitzers? I don't know, I, I presume they were killed. Because, um. Where's my uh, mouse gone? Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he surely wouldn't not play them on purpose. But he, he has got a beer stand, which, which makes me think he doesn't know that they're not allowed. But yeah, if he's come from, if he's come from another. Another play in a blood ball, then he can be good at blood ball and just inexperienced in CCL form. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. It's amazing to see that, like, they only have then two blitzers, then, and like, Kate still has a wizard. Like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Like, it's Amazons are so cheap, aren't they? Like, it's not normal. Yeah, super cheap. And he's got three bench as well. <laughs> it's not as if he's just got like he's got Rick's team. Rick's got like nine players or something, hasn't he? <laughs> oh jeez. But K has got fourteen and still has a wizard in the bed, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I I guess I gotta study like um Ju Julian here because like I gotta play against Amazons as well, of course. Mm. So like uh it's gonna be something. I think it's gonna be a little harder for Augers than it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like luckily for me, like they're the pretty lo low TV as well. Um, well, that's not the lucky part because you can still maybe get a wizard or uh, like a um, halfling master chef even. Um, but the thing is, he doesn't have a lot of block, and I do have like two block players, one with multi block, one with frenzy. So I might actually have some play there. Um, normally, I wouldn't have that, but in his, in his case, he doesn't have like a full squad of block or wrestle. So that's good. I still think your chance of winning to quote calcium is the square root of fuck all. <laughs> uh, a quick question, guys. I thought stadium enhancements were banned. They, they just don't work, but you can still buy them, which is one of the oh, reasons. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I was against doing it, because people can just buy them and then be like, what the fuck, why doesn't this work? And, like, yep. be quite you know, upset or pissed off or angry or whatever. Like, it's pretty frustrating, isn't it? It's a frustrating experience for people that don't know that you just can't, like, they just don't work. Yeah, they, they took a bit of a, a half of a solution there, and if they asked, like, for the feedback from the community in that site, like, they they would have had, like, th that kind of feedback and maybe just steered off from it. But, like, how they changed it now, people will definitely buy, like, a... a, a Stadium enhancement, like you said. Let's be fair, he's done Jewel a favor because, or whoever has done Jewel a favor, because beer stands suck. <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty much. It, it, it's a bit win more, isn't it? Like, that's why I don't like about it. It's win more because if you, if you, even if you think you're going to make far more surf than your opponent, if you're surfing, yeah, like the good thing about surfing is they're out for this drive, isn't it? Like, uh, the plus one injury yeah. roll is just is just win more, and obviously it is going to hurt you eventually in the long run, because no matter if you're the best player on earth and the luckiest player on earth, you will still get your players served sometimes. But but, but that's the thing, isn't it? Like it's only going to do him a favor if he's facing Andy Davo. We all know that. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Frenzy ninety blow getting the hit in. Pinky little stun. Yeah. Now that the attack is getting blunted, isn't it? Yeah, K Fox finding the power, isn't he? Um, the the previous turn with the two KOs was quite important, wasn't it? Um, normal service resuming. Yeah, yeah, 
it's looking it's looking real bad for the birds now. I mean that one was huge, wasn't it? The strength one. It's looking real bad for the birds. This ten will speak volumes as to whether this guy is actually a shitter with a very lucky record or a very good player uh, with uh, an alt account. This is this is the thing, and we can always see it here. The immediate like armor break, like the armor of the Amazons is is super fickle, right? And like there's a good amount of tackle there. Um, one turn, like the Bretonians could be in trouble, but like if they just pass through it, and if they just um, get a lot of breaks, get a lot of removals in one turn, suddenly the the, the whole thing changes, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. you never know with Amazons. Yeah, that's true. They are very brittle. Yeah. They're strong but brittle, which is funny, isn't it? That, that that's that's like an army I had for. Uh, for forty k, that was all tanks, and and I said it's really brittle, and then like somebody was like, "What well, are you talking about? They're all tanks!" And it's like, but the point is, a tank could just get popped off like one shot, you know. And so like, even though it looked it looked amazing having a million tanks, the fact they just yeah. died instantly to one hit was was terrible, really. You could lose the yeah. game to like fifteen shots. <laughs> so that's pretty. What's the point of having? It? What's the point of having tanks then? Well, because the chance of that is, like, unbelievably low. Ah, fair like, enough. They could also take, like, you know, thousands of shots, or just face people that literally couldn't kill them. <laughs> 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 but it was definitely brittle, like, you know, when it happened. And, and that's kind of the thing with orcs as well, isn't it? Orcs and dwarves, they really don't play down well players. So, like, if you do, if they do get removed, then it's, it's horrible, isn't it? Like, being down there yeah. as, as dwarves is horrible. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no plan B to react to, like, as soon as you remove uh, players on Orcs and Dwarves, like, basically, like, hanging around trying to defend something they can't defend with their movement. That's yeah. the real problem. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's like a different problem. Yeah, exactly. But Orcs and Dwarves are different, so, like, they're, they, like, really have to have similar numbers, don't they? Whereas the problem with Zons is they usually have similar numbers because of the, all of the dodge and the block, but then occasionally anybody can just, like, it's quite easy for anybody to just slaughter them, isn't it? Yeah. They just feel closer to oblivion than other teams, don't they? Um, a bit like playing um, elves, you know, you're, you're, you're that much closer to oblivion. You know, they're really effective. They're really good at what they do. But just that one bad turn, three, four removals, and you're in big trouble. I, I don't necessarily understand the positioning here of the no, ball carrier. This no, is uh, hideous. hideous. This guard could have come in there and assisted both, both blocks. That, that was the play, wasn't it? The guard comes in there, sits both blocks, and then the ball carrier just goes behind here, and then you screen off. Um, this is needlessly risky. Oh. Apoc doesn't even need to go for the ball carrier here, does he? Just shut him down? Yeah, I don't think he, ha yeah, I don't think he has to, but he could fireball. Rick could fireball and maybe hit his own guy, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> he has like Kaifu has to choose now between like fireballing and using that wizard or um, hitting one of the cage corners with a blitz and then making sure you can 2D with the dirty player. Like that seems like a a way to get in there. Lightning bolting the um, the peasant, uh, although suboptimal in itself, does give K Fog a blitz on the ball with tackle. It's He's fireballing! Fireball. He's oh, a fireball. Fireball. He, was, he fucking did fireball his own man, amazing! <laughs> It did absolutely nothing. <laughs> what a lunatic! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck, Kevok? <laughs> what a shitter! Oh man, that is hideous, isn't it? 50 50, it just ends your turn. Holy shit. Does it? Well, yeah. Oh, I guess it does. Really? Does it? Yeah, knock and knock down your own player. It doesn't I, I end don't your think turn. It... I don't think it does because it's before you start your turn, right? Like it's the first. Oh, the Chelis is saying it doesn't. Said, and oh no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't end your turn. No, it doesn't. Yeah, and it doesn't crystal, end your turn. Yeah. No, yeah. It, sh it fucking should do because it's horrible. Yeah. Isn't it? No, no. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. It would have done with Rick because Rick did it when his ball carry was under it. But yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it wasn't that insane. It was just. It was just risky. Yeah, yeah, when, when Rick did it, Rick, Rick had his ball carry Rick, so then it would have done. But this is a GFI, mate. isn't it? You seem to know a lot about him, mate. Fuck off. Yeah, there's the 2D. Risky play, but uh, put it down. Yeah.
But that fireball was a really good idea. The fact that it was totally ineffective and K-Fog still managed to open this cage. Yeah. yeah, at that point, as soon as he used the fireball, though, he was absolutely committed to doing anything he did. Like, even if the fireball did check shit, like, you're at that moment, you're just committed to trying to sack that ball. Yeah. Gonna have to go for it. Yeah. So, good on him. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I've had people fireball themselves against me before in the end of the turn. I, I don't know. I think I was just getting confused because of the because of, uh, Rick one where it was his ball carrier that he did it on. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not really hard to get out of if you're the Britonians, like you you just do the um the lineman here with the woman here with the peasant and then you just you just blitz with the with the ball carrier, the sure hands one to just get out. Yeah. So he should he should be okay here. He should be. You never know, but he should be. <laughs> yeah. Well I hated it and I think K Fox is shithead. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Any opportunity I get to call K Fog a shithead and a bad blood ball player, I'm gonna take. Right, it doesn't. It doesn't happen yeah. that often, okay? I, I, I gotta say, like using the fireball there, like doesn't make too much sense as, as well because if you look at the turn timer, like it's turn, it was turn six, right, when it was yeah, used. Yeah, yeah, the count. Then you have to use very low odds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get the fireball fully here. No, I think that was a bit of a mistake, to be honest. But the thing is, um, Dio loves the idea of the self fireball, so I think I think K Fog just did it for a bit for the memes, to be honest. <laughs> Fair enough. Very funny. Ten out of ten for a comedy factor. <laughs> it was, yeah. Oh god, we were all in the blitz. Yeah. I, I guess it's the last real block that you do in the turn, so it's okay real rolling that one. But yeah, but it's been a double scroll. I would have re-rolled in a double scroll for sure. <laughs> As I did in, in Blitz Pit. <laughs> Guaranteed. So this is all tied up by the guard now. Yeah. yeah. It's not looking bad for the birds at all. This is this is. I mean, actually it's, it's okay. bad in that they're probably not going to score, but it's good that they've survived the wizard. Yeah. And they look to be getting out on the I mean, at least. I mean, it's yeah, there is match for all. So. Yeah, They've got yeah, two yeah. scoring threats, haven't they? Obviously, the blocker a couple of squares back is an outside chance. K-Fog has to be a little bit mindful of that. And, of, of course, the scoring threat, the Agi 4, which is trying to soak up oh. all the attention. Vital block there. Not yeah. being able to open up the path. Man. Yeah. Harsh. I think he should have re-rolled that. Maybe, to be fair. Maybe. Because what else is he going to re-roll? Well, I guess the hit on the uh, the hit on the scoring throw. So I guess, yeah, he doesn't re-roll that. Ooh, and he needs to 1D here. Yeah, he needs to 1D here so that he could, uh, he, could dodge, he could hit the scoring throw. So yeah, that was pretty brutal. Yeah. Tony, we're not meant to play for an hour, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it might be it might be, it might be playoff nerves. <laughs> it, it might be playoff nerves getting to Kfu here. You know, like it could happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Playoff nerves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's just seven and a half off, isn't it? Holy shit. Yeah. I do not do anything except that. Well, I guess you've got a reroll on the handoff and catch, haven't you? So I guess you can do things before. Yeah, there's handoff. I'll be honest, I forgot catch, so yeah, he should he should do the books before. Birds are in a really solid position now, and now we have to see like what the KO rolls bring and that kind of thing. To see what um, what comes out of it, like missing that wizard yeah. is huge. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's just without GFI direct handoff. Yeah. Has it has it, has it though, Ducky? Saying it's won you more games than it's lost me. Has it won you more games than tackle would have done or kick would have done? Like that's the thing, isn't it? Or kick off return would have done. Like it's the opportunity cost, isn't it? Is like obviously having Hail Mary pass is better than having nothing. But it's the TV and the opportunity cost of a different skill, isn't it? Makes it, and there's the touchdown. Yeah, what, what Jimmy's trying to say there, Ducky, is 
Stop talking bollocks. <laughs> yeah, like somebody else, oh, Inarium did some shitty build and he's like, well, look, I'm, I'm 901 with it. And I'm like, well, yeah, but you would be if you'd bloody taken, you know, anything else as well. So, like, it doesn't really matter. It's like, you know, that's not, that's not proof of something, is it? So, like, anyway, it's, it's that aspect as well. 1-0 one to the Bretts. Um, I, I feel that Cave Fog shit the bed from about turn six a little bit there. Yeah, I didn't like the wizard. In, like, not on. Okay, you know, we, we made a bit of a mistake about that. <laughs> if, if, you look at, if, if you look purely at that, tur at that turn timer there at that moment, like, he, would have, he should have said, like, okay, I can freely go for the ball here with the with the dirty player, for example, or just try to get, find a way with my tackler. Um, I can freely do that without risking anything else, like committing to the to the to the wizard and use the wizard for the second half. Um, and if I if I get to sack the ball and I get to score out of that without using the wizard, then it's fantastic. Then I'm just one step into the next round. Now he's in a situation where he just lost the wizard and he has to really fight hard to um, make up for the attrition that he got against him. And yeah, play from there. That's a totally yeah, different well, game. Yeah. Worst case scenario. Um, you know, uh, he's going into the second half with a wizard in his pocket, 1-0 down. Yeah. yeah. And he would have been likely to, to, to maintain the draw there if played optimally, I feel. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't that unlikely to maintain the draw there at the end of the half. I think, like, next to the wizard, he could have been a little bit stronger with the reroll there on, the, on, on opening the path where he missed it. So, yeah, that's, that's Tony. Definitely. We said half past eight. It's down in the fucking chat. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> trying to trying to get a draw out of me with his inept Kemri against my killer underworld. <laughs> oh, Tony, by the way. Speaking of killer underworld, Creek Rust Gouger. Is it Creek Rust Gouger? I don't know. It might just be Creek now. It was uh, The Verminator was, uh, talk, was like the new model is out. Um, or was shown or something on the on the uh, official you know games workshop thing it looks pretty awesome it's going to cost 170 right, TV, yeah. and it's going to be the first time he's sent off he's not sent off which is brilliant isn't it like that's ultimate bribe so it's cool. the fanatic that has mighty blow and is faster than a dwarf right like yes. than a long beard yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah pretty that's sick, fantastic right? <laughs> five, yeah. yeah i forgot about that message johnny five yeah okay <laughs> Shit. What else can you start? Shit. That was. Can you start any earlier? Until I saw Jim streaming all by himself, and he was a bit sad and lonely. So I just decided to keep him company. Okay. Public service. Oh, yeah. Lovely, lovely Kelsey. Nicest it's guy in football. It's why I'm here as well. You know, like just we need. Uh, Jim likes three people, as far as I know. So like, that's why I joined in. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being happy once in 1994. <laughs> That's not true, I don't think I was happy in 1994. <laughs> Was that the year you started playing Blood Bowl? No, no, 1990. <laughs> oh, no, 90, 94 is when the third edition came out, wasn't it? Ah. So, I mean, I wasn't yeah, I, I, I caught the tail end of second edition myself. So, didn't play a lot of second edition, but I, the box set was just amazing when it was second edition. It was. It was pretty good. With the old Astro Granite and that. Yeah, the polystyrene Astro Granite. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And the art was great, and the rules were like cool, but not very good. <laughs> they, they were crap, but fun, weren't they? Yeah. You, you could, you know, um, they were easily exploited. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't. Um, can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of, but I know what I mean. But they weren't. <laughs> they weren't. Very the third, good. third edition was very easily exploited, as you so um, rightly proved. To the mighty Jervis Johnson himself, wasn't it? Yes, yes, when I was a small boy, 14 or 15, I blew his mind. I literally, like, I'll never forget it, because I could see his, like, face just, like, you know, just, like, like, explode. Like, his fucking, his mind was exploding when I told him it was brilliant. He was like, that's not, that. 
pod. What? What? That? Blah, blah. <laughs> and John, like, it was just totally it blew his mind. It literally blew his mind. And obviously, I guess they just never thought that that could. Um, I guess they could just never thought of the, of combining them, right? And when when they, when he wrote the the rules and when they played the league, just literally nobody thought of stacking them, which is mental, isn't it? But they just yeah, they just never thought of stacking the modifiers. Unbelievable, isn't it? Like that's just literally unbelievable. I think that's unbelievable that you could write the rules and play the playtesting and not think of stacking them. I'm just glad they really learnt their lesson, Jim, from third edition after LRB four with Claw Pom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's fair. Uh, okay. Stacking modifiers, Mordred. So, like in in third edition. You could have these were the following. These were, this was the following stack, right? You could have uh, mighty blow gave plus one, plus one on both armor and injury. Dirty player gave plus two, plus two on both armor and injury when you were fouling things. Um, claws gave you plus two armor roll, and razor sharp claws give you plus two injury roll. So you could stack all of those to have plus five armor and plus five on injury when you fouled. Jesus. Amazing! It was so good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and that was back when twelve was just dead. It wasn't. It wasn't ten plus. That was a dude that thought of ten plus rolling a diff different chart. In those days, ten was badly hurt, eleven was seriously injured, and twelve was dead. So you were just killing people on sevens. <laughs> Outright dead on a seven. And regen was a two plus. <laughs> yeah, four mummies, regen. And the count. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing that they didn't figure that kind of out thing yeah. out on its own. Because if you look at, at the current meta with the whole claw pump thing, like you already you already already know how brutal that is, you know, on the pitch. And I can't imagine like a five plus. It's insane a five plus modifier. Yeah. Yeah. The thing That's is, insane. back in LRB four, we didn't bat an eyelid about plus two DP, did we, Jim? It was yeah. normal. Yeah. You know? And now, if you honestly, if you suggested to the Blood Bowl community, oh, we're going to go back to plus two DP as standard, they, they'd have a shit attack, wouldn't they? They, they yeah. would, you know, they'd be sitting down in motorways and gluing themselves to the floor and stuff, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, a few but scoop it did take us a while, but like there were, there was loads of crazy stuff, you know, in those days, like rostering Griff, rostering, well, rostering Griff Morgan, the Count were the big ones, but even rostering Varag and. Uh, Borak was broken because Varag and Bro Bo Borak were broken. They had a leader, so that was uh, yeah. There was I like mean, you see no point in ever making a team without Borak because Borak was one sixty and a rookie Chaos Warrior was a hundred, and uh, and then the reroll <laughs> wow. was, was sixty or seventy. Was I was thinking? I think they started at sixty, and then Borak was just one sixty, so he was the same cost as a reroll and a rookie warrior, except he was strength five with mighty blow and dirty player, and they stacked, and then they literally gave a player mighty blow and dirty player and didn't think of it stacking. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Just absolutely insane. You, you see it with, with Blood Bowl 2020 rules as well, right? Like the people are going nuts about Mork already, like with the two plus yeah. mighty blow. Yeah, man, and that's on either. And, and we yeah. used to have on Fumble with New Book Four. Used to have claw and razor sharp claws for plus two on both, <laughs> <laughs> which was pretty rowdy, to be fair. Unbelievable. Even without it stacking. Well, here we go. Perfect defense is interesting, isn't it? PTK just did the all men's LOS. Big long line. And uh, he's managed to avoid a hit. With a P, did he? Yep. Vicious there. Vicious LOS hits from PTK. Yeah. <laughs> it's still like 55% hits, right? Like, this is also the thing with... with Ooh, I know how... He's re oh, yeah, he it! <gasps> oh, I don't know about re-rolling that. Why would you? Your line's pretty good. Yeah. There goes the kick equity, the right? He, he, he got the hit on the end. What he probably should have done was hit with the guy in the middle or hit the guy on this end, right? He should yeah. probably hit with this guy so that if he'd failed, you know, if it was a push, he'd go there. And if it's double scores, he didn't have to re-roll. So I think that was a mistake because he kind of did have to If he doesn't re-roll this, then there's a gaping hole potentially, isn't there? Um, but this is this this is the thing about LOS blocks, right? And and versus Armor Seven. And I I know you hate 
to talk about Norse in a way in this kind of way, but like it's still like with block, it's still like a 55% only hit to actually get them down without a reroll, right? Like that's basically a coin flip. It's it's not that good. No, it's not, and, no, yeah. that is that is a, indeed one of the more annoying things about playing the most hated man in Blood Bowl, Crystal Hunter. <laughs> that was so harsh, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. it is, is that you're not that likely to to, to remove yeah, armor seven with block, exactly. You are totally no, I agree. Like, but that is one of the things about Norse, right? Because it, it kind of shouldn't work like it shouldn't work making an armor seven bash team but by the same token it's also not that likely to remove when you hit them in that so yeah it, yeah. it does work a decent amount of the time oh yeah he's not even in is he oh shit there's no chunter oh no rages <laughs> oh no chunter i know right <laughs> crystal oh, hunter so hated no worries, he could no be worries. spanish <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! There isn't a picture of Chunter. All yeah, right. I could be okay. I, I could be Famir right now. No, I could no, be no. Famir. <laughs> we've got you. We've got you sorted here. Look, I'll just, I'll just move, 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 uh, move Finny out of the shot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I only you've, been cut. you've been you've been trim, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I only had a fucking rat's picture, so there you go. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna see the Amazons carry the ball forward. I don't know. I I, don't, I, don't, I have a really bad Femi impression. I, I can do it. Like Purple Chess can really do it really well. I think. Yeah. I've heard him do it, and it was amazing. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty good at he's pretty good at that sort of thing, anyway, isn't he? Uh, yeah. PC like all sorts of. Accents. I mean, he he gets paid for it, uh, doesn't he? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> if, it, if the check doesn't bounce. Yes, Dr. Mombosco. Yeah. <laughs> Indian pirate accents. Yeah, I'm pretty good at the old Indian pirate uh, accents. As well. Um, I, I would, I would, I would quite like to like learn to be good at accents because it's quite fun, isn't it? But I just, I just like having a laugh, so I don't care. I'm sure of them all. <laughs> I just find it. I, fun. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't imitate. Um, Give me uh, C-Seps because that would mean that I need to talk Brit current fluently, Blis uh, fluently British, which I which I can't, you know, like, uh, <laughs> that's a real problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Dimmy doesn't really speak fluent English, does he? <laughs> I was going to say, Dimmy, Dimmy doesn't speak English. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait. <laughs> 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 Wee! Uh, You've just got to do the wee bit, and that, that's yeah, half. Yeah. That's half of Timmy speaking sorted. Yeah. Timmy speaks fluent double entendre. Like I can try falling <laughs> off my chair. Maybe that's uh, <laughs> it's a thing I can do for my impression. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Have you ever had face cam on, Chunter? Wait, uh, have I ever had what? Have you ever had face cam on? Face cam? No, never. I was thinking hey, identity well, is still not uh, revealed. Get get your face yeah, cam on, sit on a chair, and then be like, "Hey guys, check this out! <laughs> really cool impression of Dimmy G." And then, well, hey, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can never do it like the two master Dimmy G himself though. That was that was like a ten out of ten. Uh, uh, Careful that one, that was perfect. <laughs> it really was, Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it was. It will go down in Blood Bowl history, won't it? It really will. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. It's all good. <laughs> oh, the birth, a stun. Every little helps, doesn't it? They've already, they've already chipped one. Uh, this drive? No, they haven't. I think he did. PTK did. So now we've got we've got uh, the birds are down players, but they're they're doing they're getting in the way, aren't they? I'm I'm not sure what PTK was thinking about making such a strong move over here when they oh. stand firm there. It was a bit weird, I thought. Uh, that's the thing, isn't it? Like they they they're not like 
looking like an impressive team, the, the birds at all, but like they do have their fair amount of guard. They do have their strength four there. It's it's going to be quite difficult to just head through. Yeah. And the stand firm helps to prevent any like funky surfs or anything. So like it's it's not even like bad what, how they position. Yeah, yeah. The, they're down and they're, and now really, Kerfog is down 150 TV right without an inducement because his wizard was completely ineffective. Like a bad decision, I think. But uh, the fact that it didn't work at all as well it's it's like he is actually down a decent chunk of tv now isn't he yeah I don't, think, I don't think we can downplay just how bad a decision that fireball was i i love ptk like everyone else right and he's hands down one of the best blood bowlers to ever play this game that being said that was dog shit. <laughs> it was a bit of a it was a bit of a premature recitation yeah <laughs> premature recitation <laughs> Timmy would be proud of that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Timmy G, the St. James of Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, Stan Firm is... It is... I I agree, Ducky, in that it, it does feel stuck on offence against them. The problem is, when I have them, it just doesn't fucking do anything. Because <laughs> I just get pound every fucking time. <laughs> but this... This is kind of a preview as well to why I think uh, Imperium Nobility isn't really shit. Like, this, despite them only having two rerolls. Like, if you look at all this, the wrestle stand firm being in their positions, it's just really hard to push forward to them. If they, and if they are able to hold the line, they can just leave you on a 0-0 on, a zero -zero on your offense and then score for the 1-0. It's not like a spectacular team, but wrestle strength, stand firm is a really strong thing you can use early on. On, on yeah, matchups with... with to blow around. Yeah, and he's only got two blitzers, hasn't he? He's doing all right, so... He has to yeah. switch here. He has to switch here, doesn't he? That bank of five with three stand firms in it and the guard is an absolute nightmare. He has to switch to the other side of the pitch right now, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to get away from these. And there's no but, tackle there, so he can't dodge away. But it's, it's going to be tricky either way because, like, what's going to stop the... the the, the birds here from just moving along the line. Yeah, he like, can't, yeah. He can't yeah. Run, can he? Yeah, it's it's rough. But I mean, he can't punch through there at all, can he? So he, he does yeah. absolutely have to move. And even these hits, like the blisters that he makes, this this one works luckily, but like these are annoying to make as well because again, you're just rolling a 55% against the peasant, you know? Yeah. To just get him down, and if you don't get him down, you get fended, and he just stays up on uh, on a position you don't want him to stay up. It's just a really, really annoying team to play uh, offense against when you're one zero down. Yeah, I mean it can be. Also, you can just massacre them because they're on the seven and shit. Yeah, <laughs> there, is, there is that aspect of them. Very true. Hey, you know who Chantar are Marxists, so like, um, yeah. love to see. But particularly for Zons, because they don't have the strength and they don't have the speed, do they? Like, they don't have anything yeah. going for them, really, Zons. Like, what they have going for them is the blood. And that's about all they've got. <laughs> you, you, you can't also... <laughs> you gotta, you you gotta. If if you if you're gonna go to the center now, you gotta cover off the right flank even more than this because like there is a bit of a chain push going on there with the kicker, the kicker, uh, peasant there. You can chain push him so that he can block the wrestle tackle guy and open up a lane potentially. Yeah. Like those are all all, if dangerous things that that could potentially happen. He's gotta cover. He's gonna get in from the backside though, which is not really likely, is it? Yeah, like this this is a lot more threatening, isn't it? These five dudes, like he's got to cover this side so much more that he's just got to think, well, screw it. Yeah, this works. This works all right. Yeah. yeah. Amazons will never win Chalice, it's true. It's it's basically impossible for them to win. Because they just don't have anything broken and they can't have anything broken, can they? Like the, the highest movement they can get is movement eight, so, so like they're not going to... Is there, some, is there still something in there? You could actually just 2D the, the guard blitzer here with the kicker and then try to chain push like um, the diagonal out and see if you can reach something with that. If you get a removal that way, you open up a lane. Maybe something like that is, um, is a bit of a plan. 
Like you can follow up with the block kicker. I would just yeah. try to maximize Probably bugs, not. to be honest. I think I think just maximizing bugs here is quite good. You can yeah. get the hit the uh get the hit is uh Oh, I wouldn't hate four. manufacturing. I wouldn't hate manufacturing a two D hit on that strength four yeah. blitzer. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I like just like well, two Ding him with tackle. With, with, with this method, you, you're getting that anyway, right? Like you're getting that all the time. Like yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't care so much about pressuring the ball or anything. I think just just constricting them is, uh, mm. is good. Yeah, I guess that's the way to go here. Like it's, yeah. it's too much of a long shot. Yeah, all you need much. is push there. There's your two D. Is this the plus etchy? No, it's not the plus etchy. This is the plus etchy. You could still do it on a one D, like you could three plus three plus. Like I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about all these lines that you can take, but yeah, maybe it's just better to to just play stable, stabilize this, and just continue from there. Yeah, I think but what I do, we're I do like they haven't got any speed, right? Zones don't have any speed, so it's, it's, it's like the same problem that dwarves have. If if the center is held pretty strongly. Then you're in a lot of trouble because you're not really fast enough to, yeah. you know, bez down a sideline and, and the, the dwarf. Normally the birds would be faster than them, but they've only got two blitzers, so they're still faster than them, just not much faster. Than them. So just just an image for the viewers. What I'm looking at is like um, hitting the hitting the guard now with the with the peasant follow up into that, and then uh, use the edgy four to dodge through that line. So three plus two plus there for one D on the ball potentially. Um, Something like that, but this is this is safer, isn't it? Just just playing the safe place is good. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. I'm not rerolling them though. <laughs> I wouldn't have rerolled yeah. that. No, that that was a bad reroll. Yeah. That was a bit far. Yeah. Yeah, it's genuinely terrible. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was bad on. So now you've got to cover the right flank with the yeah. There you go. You have to cover the right flanks with the blitzers because you have to you have to stand firm on the left flank, uh, partly. And I don't think the the left flank is going to be rushed through that quickly. So you got to keep them on the right so that if if Kefu is planning to progress on the right flank, you got an answer for that. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So now all he's ended up with is giving loads of hits <laughs> back to Kefog, which isn't great. Yeah. yeah. With the blitz though, um, turn twelve. Uh, K folks, got to start thinking about pushing, any. Yeah, yeah. This this might be this might be one of the more vital turns. If he removes one of two players here, K Fool, then he he might actually have a good shot of getting through. Yeah, but he's he's blitzing that that uh, blitzer, isn't he? Blitz the blitzer. Yep. He's going down this side. A little bit dangerous with the set. Okay, he's, he's blitzing from that direction. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's absolutely fine, yeah. So you move diagonally back now. You just stay in front of that area. Always stay in front of your opponent this way. In this, uh, in this whole predicament. So that you don't have to um, catch up on them. Yep, that, I, I hit that sidestep. I would have, I would have sidestepped to the other, the other diagonal, because now he, he can foul you with dirty player, can't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I, I think he probably will, because he's got dirty player, and he's like getting in the way of the ball, like standing there, isn't he? But if he gets sent off, like he's he's fucked, isn't he? Mm, I wouldn't say he's fucked, but yeah, I guess he just stands there. So in that case, I don't know, I, I would foul him. I would foul him, but who can save it? Oh, foul right? him, God's sake, foul all day there. It's <laughs> not even It's not even up for discussion. I don't even want to talk about it, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good old calcium. <laughs> and as soon as he gets uh, sent uh, off, I wouldn't have made that foul. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I guess to be fair, he could he could foul him anyway. If if he if he sized up to that square, he could come around to here and foul foul him, and he still. But then that's quite easy to hit two D. Maybe he doesn't foul. There you are. He's set up for it now. Maybe he doesn't foul. I don't know.
Because it's not the end of the world if you get sent off. Oh, foul you, Bellend! Because <laughs> you'd have to dodge away from tackle to get the assist, then you'd have to get a guy over to cancel these and run all the way around. I mean, it would be too deep with tackle. But... Woof, GFI in the snow. You would have broken AV, look. Seven. You rolled a seven. You would have broken armor. I'm, 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 I'm definitely impressed. Like, AV was really working hard this game. Yeah. Expert analysis. Foul your bell end. <laughs> you know it. I tell you, he's going to live to regret that. I so now this is a this is a thing about mobility, right? So you got to use the 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 peasant that's on the offside here just to cover with the guard. Try to free up the the down peasant and just move him back to actually help out with this defense. Yep. Back to the right flank. And, yeah. well, ideally, you get a power here, but yeah, uh, this is disappointing. Isn't it? Yeah. They're, they're both playing push football this this half, aren't they? Yeah, there there hasn't been many pals kicking around. He's a very annoying player. Blood guard firm is incredibly yeah. good. What do you blitz here, though? That's a big question. Uh, maybe you do. Maybe you blitz the guard with the peasant, actually. Potentially, yeah. Get us get another player over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, I like I like that more than this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, indeed, Ricky. Yeah. Is Carl young a Ricky young Gervais? Ricky? No, I'm I'm an old Ricky Gervais. Actually, <laughs> I think I'm actually older than Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, like he's lucky here, but like. No, Ricky Gervais player. is sixty now. Sorry, sorry, Chuck. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's fucking sixty. That's up. This is this is a great power for the for the birds because now they can move back here, help with the guard with the yeah. There, there you go. Exactly where you want it, and now now you can just lock that in. Yeah. Which is huge. Yeah. Same as sixty one confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> That's unreal. Isn't it? He's that old. I do I do have rather a young voice. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I turn the webcam on and it all goes to shit. <laughs> That's just how many kids he has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a few years, like, for Kyle just to attract the younger audience to his stream, he's just going to let his kids in front of the webcam and while he's playing Blood Bowl, you know, like he's... Uh... <laughs> I've got news for you boys, no youngster is interested in playing a frigging game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, a, there's, a great, there's some great quotes from uh, Cyanide, uh, translated from their interview. This is, this is the best one. Um, All members have been forced to play one game per week on Friday afternoon during our own Cyanide competition. Animators, programmers, graphic designers, or screenwriters, gamers or not, no one has escaped it. It was a painful experience. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Brilliant. Now I see, I did a proper Daily Mail thing there of it was a painful experience for some. Is, is what he actually said and then like went on a detail like players dying and stuff and uh, <laughs> and, and, and some thinking that the RNG was fucked <laughs> just, just uh. like the Steam reviews <laughs> but, um, yeah it's, it's always the RNG isn't it yeah yeah it must be the RNG it couldn't be my players it must just be the look how can these guys keep getting away with it I, I was laughing my ass off when you were uh, typing in the Blood Bowl tree. Um, Discord when you were typing like <laughs> you can only be good or some of you have said like only the good ones get the best dice you know something like that yeah. you gotta be good guys. and I was laughing I was howling because you said that because it was one sentence in that long uh, uh, rent from that 
from that guy and I knew immediately what you meant there. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Fields, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, well done. Yeah, unreal. But like, so it's amazing that they've act like amazing that they've admitted that they've been playing it and trying it, and none of them just thought like, "Fuck me, guys, this is hurting my eyes." That's unreal, isn't it? Good. What? Like, did no one say like? Maybe like the guy who made the graphics is just like a super nice guy, and nobody wanted to offend him by saying <laughs> that their eyes were bleeding. <laughs> maybe, maybe they all actually accidentally had color impairment mode on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Maybe the guy that did the graphics is also in control Ooh. of payroll. Yeah. Okay, oh, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Holy shit, huge removal there. Yeah. Yeah. Although this isn't really safe for Kevu, is it? Like, if you, if you pop a guard in there with the kicker, with the kick blocker, like, the backside is still uncovered so you gotta you gotta cover that with the dirty player. I, yeah, it's what's in oh, he's gonna foul. No, down. he's gonna foul. Oh no, wait. I don't think this is good. There's a chance here for the for I'm the talking about Crystal Hunter, that was perfect play. I'm okay. Not much regimed. Not much chance. You, you, but they'd have to they can dodge with dodge and strength four, can't they? One, two can push him out the way, so one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Double GFI in the snow, I don't know, that's pretty safe. Or I guess you this can guy play can dodge around. Yeah, this yeah you could play it on a 1D with tackle. Yeah, 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 1D with tackle then, yeah, okay. This, yeah, is, this is actually tackle. a chance. Yeah. So are we looking at a dodge? We're looking no, at look guard in for the assist. Um, lineman blocks this lineman for a push. Ideally a pow. And then this guy power, goes yeah. one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven. Oh, right. But um, it's not great. Like, no, you really I mean, want the power, though. maybe, maybe like I, I usually, I, I usually have an eco eye for these kind of stuff because, like, I, I love to play on the ball. Yeah. Like uh, the the great thing is that like putting a guard in here and blocking is a great thing to do anyway, right? So you're not losing anything by just going for this play instantly and see what happens. So, so I like just going. I like just moving in this, this guy, in and, and doing that block and just seeing what happens. You don't even have to go for the ball afterwards, but at least put that guy in and see what happens. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Question is, does he see it? Yeah. I think he. I think he does. Oh no, that's that's not the right square. No. It's not the right square. But then he does now, he's finished listening to you two. <laughs> no, well now he can do other things, right? Now he can now he can just do other things as well. So like it's not it's not worse there, because now he can punch with this guy and stuff, can't he? Have more stuff in the way there, like it's not. Yeah, but the oh, thing got is, the like, as well. now going for the one day seems pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, not not only that, but like if you look at the momentum shift with the um, with the last player, the KO player and the stun player there, it's gonna be really hard to defend next turn, right? So this yeah. is what I talk about momentum shift, and you gotta act on that momentum shift. And he's not he's not acting on that at that moment. So now he plays a passive play. Let's see how it works out for him. But usually I always say like, well, this means that the Amazons are gonna push forward. Might be a little bit too early to say that, but we'll have to see. Like maybe you'll get an injury here and things will be fine, or maybe you'll get a stun here. Yeah. Things will be fine. But yeah, I def I'd definitely like putting over there, actually making that block. And if he pushes, then stun. you can then you like you could have gone for this blitz if it'd been a push, couldn't he? You could have made this blitz and then run away a bit or whatever if it was a push. But once he gets the power, then you've got to give yourself the option of going for it. Even he just blitzing. Okay. Yeah. I don't hate that. So that strength four is shut down next to a stand firm and a fend. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy for big Kev. Yeah, with that with the stun there, it, it it kind of looked it looks all right. Yeah. How cool. There's no wrestle there's no wrestle trickery there anymore either. So like you can just yeah. You two banging on about the bull sack. Um, you know, I I, I was thinking to myself, no, I, I probably wouldn't have there. Yeah. To be honest, but I think, no, but but I, think <laughs> I think if you put the stun firm in there, though, then you've got the choice, and, and it's just like yeah, I think you just definitely exactly. put in the guard and then punch and then see what happens. And like if it's a push, then you don't follow, and you've still got the same kind of situation that you've got here, but kind of better because you've got two guards stun. You've got two guards in, in with this, and then um, and if it's a power, then you can follow and go for the ball if you want to. 
Yeah, Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy hit the nail on the head there because like the best possible defense you can have is is having a defense while keeping your options open as well and, and having as much options as possible to actually go for a sec or just play the more conservative turn um, is, is always nice and you can always look at the dice that way. You can always like scout the dice and um, make the correct decision. Yeah, yeah, like you can fish for a power against a blood stepper as long as you've got a, a backup plan for if it doesn't work and stuff, can't you? Things like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's that seems quite reasonable, J5, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, to be fair, especially when it's Blood Bowl, I think it's oh he's gone for his foul again. Oh, really God. determined. Hey, get I probably wouldn't have gone for that, pal. <laughs> 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 Foul your pal, I end up. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, bad foul, K Fog, bad foul. But this, this looks really shaky now, doesn't it? Look yeah. look at look at the left left side of that of that cage. That's just. Yeah. 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 I mean, this you Just is... wrestle that open and it's, it's he's in, right? He's just in. Yeah, yeah. He can get in. He can get into the cage this way and he can surf that. that. Guy if he wants to go a more conservative route. So he's got lots of options. Now let's see what he does. <laughs> oh dear Jeff. <clears throat> you can actually also opt for the 1D on the um, with the peasant, with the kick peasant to follow up and then create an extra area to um, blitz from on yeah. the ball. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, for so sure. So this is <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I think I think it I think again he doesn't have to go for the uh for the ball sack. Because it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. They've got they've got at least block. You it's, know, it's, it's fifty five is the best you're gonna get. He doesn't have a rack or he's only got It's 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 getting stronger and stronger each turn though to go for it, like it, that's, like, that's the thing though, isn't it? It's getting harder and harder for PTK even without going for the sack, that's the thing. Yeah. So like, it's weird because this, this is... Like, I think, I think the going for the sack is a, almost a desperation play, isn't it, in a lot of cases. Like, what you want to do is to just put them in such a hard situation that then the sack becomes easy, you know? Yeah, this is yeah. perfectly fine considering he's 1-0 up. Yeah. This is perfectly fine, yeah. Forcing forcing uh, PTK to roll dice, basically, you know, to try some desperate shit. He's kept his shape, and he... Now, if it was 0-0, zero, zero, I would have probably made another decision, mm. that being said. But, like, 1-0, zero, zero, yeah, I can see I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. Hello, Spartan Chan. Hello, PC. It has, actually. It's been, it's been very interesting, yeah. It's been very interesting, for sure. <laughs> I didn't say that on purpose. <laughs> If you keep this up long enough, you actually become like me, right? You you, you can't talk anywhere, any any in any other way than uh, yeah. than like me at some point. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Time Jim does that impression, I just think of Austin Powers um, with the, with um what was the name of, of, of Scottish, the golden uh, the Dutch, no, the Dutch guy in the third one, wasn't it? Um, I can't oh. think of his name, but I don't think I remember that one. No, I I haven't seen that. Yes, you have. I and, um, you want, what would Beyonce Isn't, stay in it? I know, I know, right? Beyonce was in it. I didn't even watch it. Wasn't and he had, he had, a, he had a giant gold key as his cock, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even making this up, all right? <laughs> gold member. That's it. Look at that. Your, your chat's Ooh, in it. Okay, folks, our rerolls, and he's only got one more turn after this. Careful oh, going out. Holy shit. Glad I didn't bet my entire house on this. <laughs> Holy shit. NSYNC oh, man. is gone. Oh man. Boy howdy. But he has to he has to be in scoring range right now, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he has, he to, has get in to be in scoring range. range. He's got no rerolls. And how? Punch, punch his way through, isn't he? One D. Oh no, two D. It's a sidestepper. He gets oh, the wow, that's huge. Look at dog! You block, you block the area, you, you stand in Dude. between the zones here. You, 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 yeah. you go in between the zones. Yeah. You block it. That will give him a nightmare, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
No! no. Fell in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had. Yeah, that was uh, absolutely the right place to go. Or, or like, no, yeah, here. No. I guess he One, could two, have three, dropped four, straight down. A six. He? And it's then it's then it's like a GFI just to get two GFIs. So that would have yeah. been that would yeah. have been losing for Gravefoot. Yeah, he like, had to you, go there. Yeah, he had to go. Oh, there. that's massive. Yeah, that was a mistake for sure. <laughs> Hello, Fimey. Oh, that would that would have been a, that night. Like I'm 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 really sure, like almost one hundred percent sure, that would have been the win for him there. Yeah, that was man. Yeah, then the only chance Kefo could have had would have been this movement five blitzer <laughs> dodging away, wouldn't it? Basically, That'd yeah, be brutal. Which he has done, to be fair. But yeah, that was a huge misplay with the sidestep. Oof. Now you now you actually have to GFI with a Dutch and GFI with one of the with one of the wrestlers to to actually sack the ball here. Yeah. Huge huge shift there by sidestepping wrongly, man. Yeah. Massive equity shift. Yeah. And are these both tacklers here? Yeah, they are. They're both tacklers, so we can't even clear the tackle. By punching the bolt tackle, so it's a dodge against tackle, and then a dodge not from tackle. You could you could also three plus three plus three plus two with the dodger, the plus edgy. Yeah, then you've got dodge. Then yeah, then you've got rerolls on them all. Maybe that's better. Yeah, that's probably better. Yeah. Also with tech with tackle on it. Yeah, because that that's mm. a three plus without tackle without a reroll. Then a three plus with a skill skill reroll. No, that's, this, this, is, this has got to be better, hasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's got to be better. Three plus without a reroll and three plus with skill reroll. Yeah. But they don't have to, to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little commentators, but they don't have to dodge, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> they do have to dodge. Oh, man. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the one, isn't it? They don't. Oh, they don't have the dodge. Yeah, okay, sorry. So it was your accent, PC. I just couldn't... <laughs> If you don't lock the door, people are going to break in. <laughs> it's fine. I just <laughs> resent being five seconds behind on the stream. Hey, EPC. Am I not, am I not streaming this? All right, all right, that's why you're in here. Yeah, he got it. He got <laughs> it. He got it. He got it. Oh, he got him down. There we are. Got the wrestle. Well, if you're going to do that, I think you don't move this guy, because then he could have come through and got it, couldn't he? One, two, oh. three, four, five. Is, is, is unknown rebel guy actually going to cause an upset here? It sure looks like it, doesn't it? I, th there's very few options. Oh, for no, that, that that guy should have been close to the ball. He should have GFI towards the ball. Would you have risked the GFIs on that to yes. put an extra base on the ball? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Isn't that the only scoring threat he's just stood in front of, though? Ooh. Uh, well, the guy on the other side yeah, is scoring. Yeah, he's only moved five. Yeah, he's only moved five. Oh, he is, yeah. Oh, wow. See, look, this guy's playing 3D chess when <laughs> us commentators are playing checkers, obviously. Yeah. We're playing two D chess, <laughs> and 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 he has, Which is he just has chess. <laughs> let's let's point this out again. He has stand firm, so that means that he can't blitz through with the with the one that he wants to score with, yeah. which is usually the move. Yeah. No, he has to either blitz it down, which takes two. Uh, yeah. Although he has two spare to do it. Fucking and, connect four. And then he <laughs> is dodging off a tackle. Yeah. Hey, I was. I'm really good at connect four, so that's that's. Oh, he's going to push the move far <laughs> five. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this one can get there on a single dodge. There we go. Yeah, clever PTK. And he gets the That's pow. He gets the pow, cheeky cheeky. Is it enough That's though? It. That's the big gonna, question. Is he gonna bounce it or stand up uh, hand off to that person? Hand off to the five. Yeah. Okay, so now he needs to move the one okay. in front of the ball. Yeah, you've got to hand it off. That's going to be tricky. The the plus strength can. can probably get oh, there. I've um, got a short hand, so it's a built-in reroll with yeah. it. Yeah, just dodge, pick up, hand off. Yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, it's a one yeah. in four fail, the pick up, isn't it? It's fine. Mm. I mean, it's not fine, but it's okay. It's not fine, this but it's... In, in, in it's this situation, if I was PTK, I would be shitting bricks at the moment with everything I do. Like Three plus. Oh, he off. makes the one in four on the short hand reroll. No re makes the hand off, and now it's three plus, three plus. No three plus, three plus. Oh, Unbelievable. oh wow. gets there. What a no. luck a dog. Seriously. <laughs> That's the sort of skill and quality that takes you to the top of the math rankings. Wow. 
What a look at that. Ooh. Three, three <laughs> Only to go for that. Grab your popcorn, guys. Grab your beer. We're going to overtime. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. I always trusted uh, PTK. Always with him. Always supporting. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal, isn't it? Hello, Faymir. <laughs> hey, Faymir. Hello there, Chalder, Barbell Chase, Calcium. How you doing, mate? I just came here to see, I was to be able to tell I was here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Core's going down, he's going down with the sounds of all of us. Yeah, of course. <laughs> PTK, what are you doing? PTK, all the legends. Yeah, Dadel does Still. have a point. Is this going to tilt? Um, J U learn. You uh, gotta say though, like, and this is this is a really important thing. I, I think we should say because yeah, PTK has been lucky making that last turn. Yeah, but the opponent actually allowed him to be lucky there because like that that failed sidestep, that the sidestep that he could have had in between the in, in between the Amazons to force the ball carrier to do extra GFIs there yeah. was huge. Um, it, it, all in all, like it was a good defense up till that point. Up to that uh, point, like absolutely, he 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 shat the bed in that turn fourteen, but yeah. he probably still felt he'd done just about enough. Yeah, uh, and actually, it was thirteen, wasn't it? Fourteen was a reasonable recovery turn, but um... the pivotal sidestep, it wasn't. It, it was easy to miss, wasn't it? It's. It, I I don't feel like being too harsh about the sidestep that he could have given PTK a really hard time with, um, um, because it wasn't a natural move, was it? I, I don't want to be too harsh about it saying it, but like there's always like people always say like, well, I just got diced in here or I've been unlucky there. And there's always, I always say like 90% of the games, there's always something you can improve on. And yeah. this is definitely something you can improve on. Yeah. Um, so oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, this, I mean, this was the mantra of no dice of Dionysian, isn't there? I mean, there is obviously dice. The point is one can't control them. So what can you control? What could you have done better? How could you have, you know, made the dice less impactful? Yeah. This but just moaning because you rolled a one, well, that's going to happen. Punching Amazons in the face, that's what you can control. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a change from kids here, can't <laughs> even I, Even I draw the line there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim Carrey made a career out of wrestling women, didn't he? Uh, the, yeah, the other guy did. No, not Jim Carrey, um, Andy yeah. Kaufman. Yeah, Andy yeah. Kaufman, yeah. Jim Carrey played him, didn't he? In, in yes, he did very well, I thought. Yeah. He's actually a cracking actor, Jim Carrey. He just, you know, is excellent at those comedic roles, which doesn't make him look like a good actor, but he really is. Oh, that was horrible. What a horrible play. <laughs> <laughs> so really the only question here is how much smashing up, isn't it? There wasn't a one turn on really in the snow. No, not really. I guess he puts him on three. Should have saved the dirty player there for a foul as well, since he has two subs. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's not using your resources well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I. Point. Having a bench in overtime is time. utterly pointless. Two dirty players and use. Shame. 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 <laughs> Hello, Hancock. Oh, what's this? Hancock's in the booth. Hey! 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 <laughs> 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 yeah, everyone check your wallets. Notice he didn't say he'd come in. <laughs> right, hey, oh. I'm just moving these coats. It's all right. I'll bring them back. <laughs> well, PTK has lost the toss. Oh, my God. Down Ouch. 11 players. Ouch. Very exciting. Yeah, but that, I mean, come on, not putting no, that foul on 16 is still haunting me. That shouldn't be a full 11 okay. by now. Oh, this was this was actually a defensive setup. Wait, what's going on? I don't know who's lost the toss. <laughs> is this a defensive setup from the birds? A guy just stood here randomly. No. Uh, yes. <laughs> it looks like it is. 
But then it was PT 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 no, looks like he's making they, a defensive one. Yeah. yeah, he must be setting up defensively yeah, because otherwise yeah. they've both shit the bed royally, haven't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. would be the funniest. It would be the funniest overtime ever. <laughs> I, I, I think on? both think they're defending here. <laughs> okay, no, PTK was defending, right? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I saw the same thing with... Um, um, I, I said the same thing to Flicky in, in BBSL today. He, he was playing his BBSL game, right? And, like, you, you can see, always see Flicky getting really bothered about the dice, but, like, the thing I always try to give to people is, like, well, when something happens with the dice, like, complaining about it doesn't really change anything, you know? It might, might yeah. make you feel feel better on the short term, but you gotta you got to play from that plan, you got to play from that spot, and, and know how to yeah. maximize your advantages and op optimize that. Yeah. And we're all on the same page, Crystal. I keep telling him that, you know, he needs to look at his record. He's very good at solving those problems when they crop up. Yeah. He doesn't seem to believe that in himself. Anyway, Crystal Hunter, for your personal security, I advise you not to talk people about the rolling dice. <laughs> 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 well, there's an interesting choice. Uh, I mean, who's to say if that's right or wrong? Should you open overtime with a with a one D? Do you think is that? Fabulous <laughs> dominance. Fabulous dominance. Probably. I mean, it's not the last turn, so we can't be certain if it was wrong. <laughs> but PT, interestingly, PTK got a reroll from the fans, which is huge, isn't it? Like, yep, Julian that is huge. got one as well, but uh, you know, three one is much less of an advantage than two zero, isn't it? I felt just yep. the tiniest tremor of equity shifting under our feet. <laughs> yes. I mean, it gives Although, him that like, one good shot, doesn't it? It means there's one thing he can try, or, or one you know uh, desperate first action fail he can reverse on this drive, which yeah. is thing, so useful. Yeah, the thing is, like, an offense with three rerolls is immensely solid, though. So, like, that's yeah, it's going to be fearful as well. And but a full team. Oh, it's yeah. it's impactful for sure having three to two, but I think the jump to what to zero to one is much bigger than yeah, two to one. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, two and three, sorry, yeah. So yeah, very interesting. Full eleven on both. Wild. Wild? <laughs> Wild. <laughs> I guess the thing is that there is the chance of this going over time with a three reroll advantage now instead of a two. So they're like, you know, it's not entirely positive for PTK, but it's gotta be positive, I think. Though. This is very exciting, isn't it? I'm just gonna just gonna have a break and get a sandwich to uh, consolidate how exciting it is. Well, he, he got out of jail, didn't he? He got out of jail, turned 16. Now, yeah. let's see if he can run away with it. Well, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't imagine. Hope. Sorry, sorry, uh, Crystal. There certainly is hope for the rest of us mere mortals if the likes of PTK sometimes has to roll dice to yeah. win. Yeah, but even against the likes of, of, of an unknown like Junior, you know, and I, I think like Junior must be shitting his pants right now out of nerves, you know, like that's, yeah. that's also a thing. That's, that's the, to me, that's the big factor in this overtime is can uh, Julian like that it's that's good well done um can julian um hold his hold his nerve together here is he on tilt because yeah. that three plus three plus three plus would have you know unsettled the staunchest yeah. mental fortress so he's got everything here. he's got the ball it's under control he's got a full team he's got three re-rolls um he's yeah. scored on this team before he knows he can get past them but can he hold it together does he have that mental fortitude so and is he being self-critical right now? Because yeah. as lucky as K Fog was, it was still of Jules' doing, wasn't it? You know. Uh, it, I, I think at this moment, at this very moment of the game, I, f I think like being self-critical doesn't really help. You just got to look at the moment now and just mm -hmm. keep pushing. And after the game, just move past it. Like yeah, yeah. After the game, like just just worry about it after the game. But during the game, no, yep. he's just got to just got to play. Either the sort of iron self-belief that, say, uh, you know, a Dionysian or a Crystal Hunter has, or just to be as stupid as me or Calcium. So <laughs> yeah, you just, that, brother. <laughs> you know, just keep punching things. <laughs> absolutely. One way or another, you've just got to find what it takes to, to stand up and keep going and keep looking for those chances. Yeah. Oh, 
and I deeply appreciate you um, likening yourself to me on a blood bowl stance, but we know that's exactly the opposite of the truth. <laughs> I, I did kind of do that knowing you'd find it like a little cookie. <laughs> it was a little gift. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, fantastic dwarf coach, of course. Um, purple chess, and of course, also generally a great coach. I have occasionally coached other races, yes. Yeah. But shh. Um, okay, so I mean, so far, uh, Julian is um, is holding this together pretty well. He's he's defending his you know his central position, pushing his Amazons back. Of course, Amazons one of those teams very capable of just coming at you in a line as Core did there and making you you know take those hits and risk those uh, those re rolls getting sucked away. Like we were talking about how much um, this Plutonian team is lacking the Blitzers, but considering this particular matchup, like having um, peasants with tackle is super strong, isn't it? Like it makes yes. up for the for the fact that you don't have them. Yeah, you actually don't want your peasants skilled really in how we used to build Bretonians, but here this this particular matchup it's definitely paying off, isn't it? There's so much tackle. It shouldn't work, team. should it? But it does. And it has worked this game. So, you know, fair play for that. Yeah. I know about the follow-up there. Yeah. I mean, it, it it should be okay. Hence, he's reinforcing over that side. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah. he's pushing yeah. through. There's, there's still there's still a reasonably safe pocket in the center left. Yeah. There, so yeah. That's, that should be okay. I mean, the fact is, I say that the snow's a factor here. It, of course, it hugely is. But Bretonians are ever so slightly faster than Amazons, aren't they? Well, this yeah, this, this really does favour yeah, the Bretonians, okay, doesn't it, the Blizzard? Yeah. Finally, he's howling. Yeah, quite a bit faster normally, right, with four Blizzards. This isn't, but only yeah. Hold on. So you got a you got a one D here with the wrestler to wrestle him down, and go around with the with the guard, or two D potentially. There's there's the play. Like you got a dart, you got to do a lot to yeah, actually get there. That's the Crystal Hunter play. Yeah, that's. <laughs> It is, yeah, I know. It is, it is, it is. Got to remember, these are AG three Amazons, not gutters, not rats. It, it, it is one Dutch though. It's not, it's not like crystal. two Dutches. <laughs> three Dutches, one Dutch. I mean, it is, it is the most aggressive play. I know that. I'm like, but I'm, I'm definitely suggesting it, and and the reason why I suggest it is because the ball isn't safe. I want to show that the ball isn't safe there. Yes, it isn't. That, it, uh, you're right, it isn't. And it's, um, I mean, it's, it's quite an aggressive move to the left he's done here. And I think it was because mid-turn he realized he wasn't strong enough. And in reinforcing the left, he's had to abandon the right. And really seeded quite a lot of sort of the, the field to core, trying to gain momentum. And I'm not sure he's done it. Yeah, this is terrible, isn't it? These four four players corralled in a in a in a two by two square is is something yeah. you never ever ever want. It, that's horrible. Exactly, Doc to the Doc. Like, um, it's it, that's one thing better than having a, a long shot chance at the ball is is having no chance at the ball at all if you're yeah. the ball carrier if you're the yeah opposing player. So like, you gotta you gotta make sure you do that. <clears throat> Pretty simple, really. When Chanter talks Blood Bowl advice, you damn well fucking listen, because he's won the chalice and you ain't. It's as simple thanks, as that. Thanks, girls, you. Thank you. Yes. Don't try it at home, but uh, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> you may hate him, but you will respect him. Exactly. No, I, I followed that rule. I, I listened to everything Lennox Lewis said, went out and uh, took on a couple of heavyweights. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, for the last four months I've been eating through a straw. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, we all have our key strengths and uh, one of Chanters is that ability to see any remotely possible sack. Uh, and, you know, dream it, it will be true. Yep. Yeah. Uh, making a nice little uh, pocket for him in the center here. I don't, I don't hate this. No. It's but it's a it's it's a little passive. 
it is a bit passive. But does he have to be active with three rerolls? No, not at this stage in the drive. I mean, he is making a tiny bit of pro progress, isn't he? He's sort of yeah. pushing over that half love way line in strength. And he's centralized the drive again, if he's aiming where we think he's aiming. So, for an unknown quantity, he's showing quite a lot of patience, mm. isn't he? You know, um, we, we would expect inexperienced coaches to, well, shit the bed, basically. Potato, do stupid stuff. Well, did, so did someone showing... say he'd come from Rebel? Yeah, I don't know if that's... A fact okay. or not, I... But I, I oh, right, okay. As a, as a guess as to where he may have got some experience and why yeah. the name hasn't leapt out to people before. Well, I mean, he might be an alt. He might have come from somewhere yeah. like that. I mean, if he has come from somewhere like Rebel, then, you know, patience is going to come baked in, isn't it? <laughs> might also be just part of the of the of the of his attitude, his personality. Just, just yeah, yeah. Even even like if he's a newer coach, like being calm and that kind of thing. Like some people have that. that. I mean, I, I like that follow, follow up. up was horrendous. Yeah, the follow up. Was yeah, cool. it's opened him up. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a gaping hole now. Yeah, and, oh, and Core oh, will dear. will have a little go at this. You There's know, it's bad. Several advice ways to get it. this done. This is this is actually a two D on the front guy. It's it's so simple. Yes, but there's a couple of things that need to happen first for that to work. But oh, it should be just, should be that. Did he, did he just block his own entrance? He's blocked his own way in. Yeah, he? yeah. Not necessarily. No, he can he can block with the air strength, bit of a strength four. But yeah, I still wouldn't didn't like that. Yeah, that he had to be. No, in it's front not of the that. squares I'd have been in. Because yeah, if he had a bit of assist, he could have used guard in here, couldn't he? And then he would yeah, have exactly. Had, he, then he could have and then the roots the there yeah. for a, a fairly easy um, two die. I mean, just one just, one more dodge off tackle to cancel, and then you're in for the two. Yeah, no, no real recovery, but still at this point, that would be a, a good. Place I mean, to be. I'm, I mean, I I respect K for K for a lot as a coach. Like he's one of the best out there, but I don't think he's having his day at the moment. Like mm -hmm. it, it does seem like um, he's made some decisions where he's not been informed today. Well, I mean, you also have to ask yourself how focused he is on Blood Bowl two right now, and I know the answer to that. Fair. But, the balancer of that is that he's, he's never going to be an easy mark in any game, is he? No, no, no. It's, it absolutely should have been, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was... And as we said, it was one easy decision to change would have made it you know, entirely possible. Yeah, because it was guard anyway. Like, if this guy didn't have guard, then fair enough. Because you need the, you needed two assists, didn't he? So like, if he wasn't, if he didn't have guard, then that was totally fine to, to block that and not go for the sack in favour of two D on him. But when he's got guard, and he could just put him here. Yeah. That's... Well, it turns out he was ahead of us again, uh, as so often with PTK. Turns out the real plan was just to bang all the Bretonians out. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the move just pick the ball yeah. up off the floor at the end of that. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we ever doubted it, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Ducky. <laughs> he's, he, if he's comes from Rebel, he's used to three-hour matches, so there'll be no pressure at all. <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. I was thinking not only that, but of course the 15-year you know, assault so you, on getting into one of the higher divisions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you utilize the Donnellus here from the plus edgy guy to actually open up the right flank a little bit and then yeah. get a safe position over there. Mm -hmm. For your first blitz first, that's also good. This is also fine. Oof. The power. You gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta be utilizing that right flank now. Like, there's so much stuff going on on the left side. Yeah, but he's got so, quite a few players trapped back there too. Yeah, yeah. Is, and with yeah. with so few in total, he really can't afford to, you know, leave a party of three yeah. chucked over on one side. He's got to find was, a way to get those out and involved. Yeah, it feels like it feels like the team's split in two, doesn't it? it feels it like they're split in two. Yep. Yeah. power though, huge, huge. So, I mean, all of that said, he does still have, you know, the, the fast pieces he's got, the blitzers over on that side with the ball, and they are slightly faster than the Amazons in snow and cause really low on rerolls. Yeah. So there is a route where this works, but he's going to have to keep getting good dice. This doesn't help a lot. No. Yeah. Is there a ball sack on it? Yes. It's not a very good one, but you can no. fairly easily get one die on the ball. And potentially two. Yeah, Blizzard's yeah, really if, putting paid to the GFIs in it. Yeah. In this situation, because you're not you're not hitting with tackle, like, I would be very tempted to go for the 2D. 
that's the problem. Well, I mean, then you'd need to pull the Amazon from in front of that little cage, and that. Yeah, but if, if you go for the two D, it makes it has to be two TFIs, doesn't it? So like, yeah, I, one, I, I, two, I wouldn't, I wouldn't three, go for yes, it at all. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, I wouldn't go for it. And but and a dodge off tackle to get going for those two. So it's three plus three plus three plus to get your two die. I yeah, don't love that. Better just to isolate these four even more, isn't yeah. it? And, and yeah, yeah, and particularly as your strength pieces over that side and on the ground, and that should be involved if you're sacking. Because even if you sack, like, the recovery wouldn't be great. If he if he wants to make a, a that kind of risk, like it has to be like with a tackle blitz. Like yeah. you have to do it with a tackle blitz. Yeah. That's the only reason why you would. Again, with the single reroll, it's it's finding that one good shot, isn't it? Yeah. You can't take three bad ones. You'll lose your reroll or lose your people, and then it's gone. Probably. Big power. We're talking these certainties. You know, roll the right dice, everything works, doesn't it? Big power. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Huge power. Dodge for the for this character. That was. And shouldn't this card just moved here first, or like wherever it's mm. going to go? Because I think he was, I think he is trying to bang them out, but there wasn't a second hit there, was there? It was just mm. as you said, limiting. Yeah, yeah. That, if that would push, yeah. it, it stops him going here. So yeah. Maybe he didn't think of going here, but you know, or, or here or anywhere. Like, he, but if he if he's not going to go around this way, then if he is going to go around this way, he should have definitely moved it first because he could. Yeah. This path. Now, how tempting is it for the for the Bretonians to, to to try and find an opportunity to side gauge in some way? Like, how how far do you go with this? Do you actually commit to that kind of thing? I mean, I, uh, it, it's a horrible thing to try and do against a team with this much dodge. But I, he may well be at the point where there isn't enough resources to do anything else. Yeah. I mean, that was like another one gone, isn't it? He's down to eight. There, there is this play now where you can blitz through the the, the guard's block player. And just get to the side at this point, well, but it is it is very yeah. unlikely. That would be that would be the suggestion then. And he's coming Where forward. Where he's put his strength four tackler, um, maybe centralizing that strength four tackler would have been a little bit better. Yeah. You know maybe. when you see a beautiful baby tree growing in a forest, little sapling, only perhaps eighteen months old, then you see a. a vicious like ivy growing around it just choking the life out of it um that that reminds me of what the amazons seem to be doing here so yeah the only way to escape from all of this i think yeah, you've got to do it now like if you exactly if you push now that. this is a chance i think you just blitz through and just get into that area even if you don't side case like you still get into that area i don't know i think you just dodge both of these and then come back over here and yeah, I'm, I'm with Jimmy. I think you just have to run into a corner and then hope to push a punch away forwards afterwards. I think he's in huge trouble here. Yeah, You do still have reroll equity, so I guess yeah. running away, taking the draw, yeah. relying on the pass too. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I give up all hope of scoring now and just try to consolidate this. And, uh, and yeah, yeah now, now, now with the non down, I would have backed up as well. As well. Like with yeah. the non-down, of course. Like you just go back. I mean, this is one of those situations where it doesn't look particularly bad at first glance, but actually he has no control anywhere on the field. There's no safe spots. The Amazons are all over him. No one's moving free. Yeah, sorry, but I think yes that the PC is right. The, the Bretonians are in a very, very difficult position, and for tackler, that, that was huge. Negates, but yeah, negates a whole side of the pitch. That being said, yeah. Kefu only has four turns, doesn't he? Yeah, he only has four turns. And he has to score it because if it goes like this, uh, three re rolls to one, you would put, you know, a big chunk of money on uh, on Durian, wouldn't you? Spread to the right flank now. Just spread to the right flank. Spread these guys in front of it. Mm -hmm. Just just hold that right flank. Only thing you can do. Yeah, that yeah. KO was huge. It does give you the space to push to this right flank, as Junta says. Mm -hmm. And there's some hope there of maybe going forwards, or as Jimmy says, you pull back. But then he should need to do that earlier, Jimmy, and build the fort already. Yeah. The first move should have been a blitz off, not a block. Yeah. He's blitz now, and he's he's got this guy up, which is good, isn't it? So he's got options. He's got options. Yeah. He could have caged. He could have caged um, in the centre of the pitch, but when he followed up with his Agi four, that was the end of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I didn't like the follow. I think. No. I think. Do you come back here and then just punch him with tackle and then like screen out that way? Maybe. That sounds. I mean, maybe, but I mean, I'm I'm like Chandra. I'm a bit more aggressive. I would probably at this point. With what he's done so far this turn, I'd push up the right. But, oh, it's not good, is it? It's really not. It's really not good. There's, there's just, no good moves. Just, for just, sure. just hold a line on the right side. Yeah, all you can do. The right side, the one with the strength for tackler with frenzy. 
yeah, yeah, that right side. Yeah. <laughs> as bad as it is, yes. <laughs> we, we, we did say it wasn't good. I, I prefer the left side. At least there is no tackle on the left side. <laughs> Shit, Sherlock. There's <laughs> Gasso on the, the left the side. The blitz though. has gone and that guard's right in the middle of the two key pieces. It, it, yeah. It's... He he has taken three bad decisions. So you, you don't you don't want no, to. What he stood up at the front, I think, was okay. But the follow up the was bad. The other stand up was bad. No, but this is the key thing, Famer. You don't want to roll like a three plus now to actually be safe. If you if you have to do that, like you might roll fail at three plus, you might roll a one and nine, and then you know you you get you get overrun. This is this doesn't look healthy at all for me. He just has to get his what team together. I think it was a huge yeah. mistake when he when he got those four players in a square. Like I know, I know obviously he's taken some removals yeah. and that, but but when he had those four players in a square, that was just killer. And and everything's come from that turn, I think. Maybe yeah, maybe he can hold really this. Helpful, maybe uh, really helpful power there. Yeah, yeah, that was a helpful power. Huge power. Ironically, that peasant. Um, at the top of the screen is doing quite a lot of work right now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and the pe peasant on the bottom of the screen is doing a lot of work as well because he's preventing like yeah, an assist. He is. Three, yeah. Three, three no, the, he needed that push. Even a both down there was pretty terrible for him. Yeah. I'm sure I heard Jim mocking the peasants before this game started. Whoa. What a what did he go? <sighs> there goes the last hero. Yeah. Whoa. All the equity out of the window, guys. Yeah. But I mean, what a huge thing that. Imagine if he didn't have that reroll, and now all of a yep. sudden. I thought I was having a stroke, and it turned out it was the huge shift in equity there. Oh. <laughs> Say the man grabbing the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> a huge equity. No, shift. I'm with you here, dog to the dog. I mean, there is a time to run back and hide on your own touchdown line, but there's also a time where that just puts the ball where they want it. Yeah. No, I think I think every move he has to be made has to be getting his players together because you've got so few of them that you, you don't want them stretched apart, do you? Oh god, I don't like that side step. Oh crikey. Crikey. I would have sidestepped back here, like I would kept, try to keep everyone together, that's what that would be my aim. Because now he might get fouled even. Maybe one. Foul here, can you? So I can't so, believe so, I said that, but no, he is getting fouled. He, can. Yeah, yeah. he fouled into a squaring, a fouling square, which is a bit crazy. Ooh, yeah, well, right. So this would be me, but this is this is a bit of a chunter play again. Like, well, not really a chunter play, but chain pushing. Um, you go with the with the guard guy towards the two zones here. The zones on the left flank, the wrestle and the and the guard guy. You blitz in a way where you chain the guard guy forward to your side, mm -hmm. so that you isolate him and then you go around. Yeah. That would be my that would be my play. I mean, I it is that classic T shape, which which gives you that push chance. But it, you'd need an assist to do it, wouldn't you, as well? Because there's no you, natural that's, assist. That's, that's why you put the guard in. Right. I still don't like it. I like just just hanging on now. I think you hang on. Kfog's got no re rolls. Yeah, it's especially after that re roll. It's, it's three 0 yeah. now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Just hold. Don't bother to score, Bretonians. Don't bother to score. Don't raise any ball carrier versus but wrestle. It, it, <laughs> what is that? It's not. Yeah, it's not. That's... It's not. It's not only about scoring. Like the deeper he gets, and the deeper he gets potentially yeah. sacked, the harder it is for Kayfok to score back. Wow, it's paid off. It's paid off so much. <laughs> it's really paid off. And remember, now. only uh, only range one and two passes in the snow as well. So if you literally handed the ball to Kayfok on his back line right now, it's still tough for him to get the score. So, so this is the play I suggested because this dominates the left mm. flank. Yep, and. Gets a tackle oh, didn't he have some spare movement? Couldn't he be a couple of squares further up still? But potentially, he's got space he... now to screen it. It's it's now in a nice position. He's recovered yeah. really well. I mean, getting the power is huge, right? Getting a push isn't yeah. so good there, but getting the power makes it great. Why not, why yeah. not put him up another couple of squares? I guess because he's th he's got these guys up there, and that's what he's thinking, right? This this is about as far as this yeah, it, it, it's, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's, it's all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I quite like. It. Yeah. Close off. yeah, this is nice. <clears throat> well done. Well, first things first, it's securing a draw, isn't it? Push for the win, but in the in the same breath, make sure you secure the draw. Don't do anything yep. stupid. Yeah, I mean, I'd still be looking to score this because there is that yeah, yeah, course, slim yeah. shot that uh, the three reels doesn't give me the, yeah. the penalties. Yeah. But he's nine percent to win, minus three rerolls, folks. So yeah. Uh, yeah. 
And this yeah. is why that foul, I hated that foul, because it's put K-Fog and Matt, uh, Woman down, you know? Um, it, well, it just wasn't a more, great foul. More importantly, it's not only the Woman down, but like he had a he had a strength four player that he could still kill move, eh? a move. so like he could have moved that strength four player yeah. to the left flank to help yeah. out. And that, that was that was more important even than... than yeah, I, that, I do that. think it's one of those times where a foul took the resources which sacrificed position on the field, which fouls yeah. are really capable of doing. Maybe a great However, step. <laughs> if it killed the plus agility, and if the you know, if something had failed reasonably early on the Bretonians turn, it could have been very useful. But I, I didn't love it. <clears throat> it was really tempting when he sidestepped in there, though. It was, wasn't it? So maybe it was a good sidestep. Yeah, maybe that was deliberate. So my initial reaction was, "Whoa, we can foul him now if he wants." <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> but yeah, obviously. Once again, that 3D chess training, paying it, paying off. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was his idea, give him enough rope to hang himself. Yeah, notice Core still keeping the deep sweeper. Still knows that if the ball ends up up there, he's in huge trouble. Yeah, no one rolls four pluses better than K-Fog. <laughs> <as to. laughs> oh, dear. Um, so he's got, he's, well, he's got the add four up, can do something with him. Can always run back as well. I think that's always something you should be thinking about. Yeah, absolutely. That was actually a really good turn by K Fog, wasn't it? He's put on really good pressure. Yeah. 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 It was. It was that. That's quite possibly one of the best turns he's played this game. <laughs> well, again, when he had that full press on, and I was worried. Uh, you know, um, Jurian got out very well, and and Kors put all that pressure straight back on. He's absolutely yeah. smothered them. Juggernaut, Juggernaut, uh, he doesn't follow up. I thought Juggernaut would help him getting involved in this area, but... I just don't know what his plan was with that blitz, to be honest. Yeah, it wasn't a great blitz. No, it wasn't, wasn't a great blitz. I mean, actually, from one nearer where the camera is, he could have pushed him away from the problem area, and that would at least mildly have helped. Yeah. Ironically, the play was actually blitzing with the ball carrier, which he's done for the last two turns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, you're probably right. Done, done, not really done. Use the agility as a, a screen and a shield and then blitz through. Or blitz oh this boy. this side space, space here. Oh, yeah. God. oh I mean, we, we, wow. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 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 It's worked though, Jimmy, so it turns out it was. I mean, we can we can, we can complain about him blitzing with the ball, but like, if, can if we? you have like... Good. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my case. Um, no, um, like if, uh, if you have if you have them as the main tackle guys with darts and with the mobility, like yeah. they're they're the guys that have to blitz kind of. Yes, it is less Bretonians. I mean, as as Crystal's saying, you know, they are the, the do everything pieces, and sometimes that leaves them as the one that has to do that. But as Calcium said, if you're doing that, then there was an opportunity there to really get over this team and get really deep into the end zone with that large side step. Mm -hmm. yep. um, that was probably the turn to do it. I preferred just just trying to rescue the situation and just just go back if anything to be honest but yeah I, I'd have preferred that to what he did yeah yeah I don't like that <laughs> obviously he hated using the re-roll like you just can't use re-rolls can you like you oh, cannot use re-rolls this That's is so thing. difficult um I mean it's you even have to use the re-roll bearing in mind that the blitz of the ball carrier has got sidestep so no risk That's of being surfed yeah. That being said, Kefu has to defend here to actually not get scored on, does he? Because 3 plus 3 yeah. plus is, uh, yeah. is a thing now. Oh, and a uh -oh. there it is. Wow, there you go. Now this is pretty looking very strong so, for the birds now. Yeah, I don't question. quite know why the, the line woman didn't... Ah, oh, because of the tackle. Re question to you guys. Would you guys, would you guys use it, uh, a reroll on the first GFI? Yes. yes. Um, is there, there's only one, isn't there? There's only one. You add, yeah, add only you go into end zone, pass, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hand off, hand off GFI, Scott. Or hand off, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hand off GFI. Hand yeah. off's better, it's a two plus then, isn't it? Yeah. Plus pilot. Two plus with catch. Yeah, then, then you're absolutely yeah. real here. Yeah. Then you're absolutely real. Yeah. God. And there it is. Plutonians wow. win the game. Wow. That's it. That's it, that's Boom. the end of PTK and CCL. Wow. Unbelievable. Literally, I, I thought I thought that the birds had no chance at the start of the game. There you go, what an upset.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. And this is this is this is the the the, the romantic side of, of Chalice, isn't it? Like you're gonna have those major upsets that really change uh, like like predictions and all that. It's just lovely. Well, tell that to PTK. <laughs> well, I mean as I as I've said once before, so I'm afraid this is a repeat. You know, even the best players in the world, you know, get seventy five percent win rates, they lose one in four. And yep. the best players in the world on a hot run, say Gdanik, you know, coaching Wood Elves, even against Australians, only manages, you know, about 90%. <laughs> um, it's just, no, no one wins every game of Blood Bowl. No matter how good people think they are, they're always capable of losing just about any game. It's, it's, there are dice involved. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, the Britannials, uh, Durin, whatever his name is, he played really good, didn't he? Way better than I, you would think, from 100 games. So, incredible. Wow. <laughs> Just incredible, isn't it, really? Well done to him. Yeah, congratulations to Julian and uh, congratulations to Kefu, of course. Yeah, I think credit to um, Julian um, because he played really well, didn't he? There were, there were bits and pieces, you know, mistakes made, which you expect from any Blood Bowl coach during the course of a Chalice game. But um, yeah, great game, really, really good second half in overtime. And never have I heard Calcium call, uh, call Cora Nobed quite so many times for his decisions. Oh, now Cora's joined us in the box. Hi, Cora. <laughs> it was actually blocks. But... Jesus Christ, I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, 110 blocks, that is. I think that's got to be one of the most I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> Versus mostly Armour 7. Unreal. Hello, PTK. Are you, have you got anything to say? I think it's a win-win. I can stop playing CCL and you can get to play small. <laughs> it's not like I didn't try to win. Yeah. But was, um, yeah. yeah. It was clearly a run for fun for you at this uh, time. Choosing Amazons and all Could that. You, you want to have a good time, enjoy yourself, and you did it. Yeah. I wanted to turn qualifier with Amazons. And Qualified the last time with the team I qualified with the last time. Well, there you go. It was it was really it was really cool to watch to be honest because I thought that yes. the birds didn't have much chance and I thought he played very well. And he, uh, it's quite op it's quite his build was really weird, but having four tackles against a pretty, pretty shit Amazon team is it's pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, another another yeah. huge win during your matchup is like we started with one commentator. <laughs> yeah. and then with a full people join this I just joined it to say that yeah, I was there I was there I watched it live <laughs> yeah, it is pretty amazing we ended up with a massive a massive gang watching it <laughs> on that note I gotta go so um, yeah congratulations commiserations K Fog. it was a great game to watch um, unfortunately I gotta go and play Blood Bowl so I'll see you all later oh, oh, you, oh, you, you, you. it was I gotta say, it was an absolute pres pleasure to commentate with you. I wanna say that um, he, he went off anyway. It doesn't matter. You listen to that in the pod. That's all good. Oh, lovely fellow. It was great to have all of you on. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> and, uh... Now you had to do some blood bowl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was lovely to pop in, and I always like to concentrate on the pops. Positive. What a lovely result for Julian. Uh, I just thought what, you what you were talking about. Yeah, not ten blocks and seventy nine. <laughs> Uh, that's a, yeah, that's the almost 200. It's almost 200 blocks combined. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's unreal. That's a lot yeah, but, of blocks. The one on the ten blocks is, is due to to fend blocking a little bit, right? Like, isn't isn't that yeah. a thing? Because that counts as a double double block. Oh, does so, it? Yeah. It does. Um... I think. Like, I don't think there's there's been one on the ten blocks there. Um, um, it doesn't. That is an extraordinary ah, it, block. I did block a lot, but maybe not that much. Yeah, yeah. just a weird. It ended up being close. I have almost written it off after, after I first failed to sit. I had a pretty easy sack if I could just knock one person down. Didn't that fail? And I just need to move another person to at least take down the bolts going for it. And that failed. That's <laughs> not so like, hmm. At that time, it looked pretty bad. 
Yeah, it was it was weird how it looked, started off looking really well, and then like you look at the you look at the birds and you're like, well, actually, although these although these peasants are crap, <laughs> you re don't really want forty TV on them. Having block and tackle is actually pretty good for this. And then like obviously you got more and more into it, and then there was the the really lucky score in the end, wasn't it, with a movement five, and then it was like it was it was, it was yeah, pretty cool the way it like swung in that. Yeah, yeah, I prefer just stopping the touchdown. Look pretty simple. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Right, thank you, thank you very yeah. much, everybody, and uh, yeah. commiserations, PTK, and uh, yeah. congratulations, Julian. And yeah, thanks this for is... watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>